Hello Keyframe Lovers! Welcome to a new chapter of our quick tutorial section. Today we will learn how to create and animate 3D text with a cartoon effect in After Effects. To start, create your text, color it and turn it into a 3D layer. We need to enable Cinema 4D or Advanced 3D mode to create the 3D text. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate the text. I will change the color of the lower text layer to a different one. Open the geometry options and increase the extrusion depth value. Let's set it to around 350. Set bevel depth to 15 and choose convex for bevel style. I recommend moving the layer slightly backward on the Z axis to avoid any issues. Now to control the animation of the text, create a null object, place it in the center of the text and make it a 3D layer. Parent the text layers to the null object. To animate the scale, create a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline and set the scale to zero. Move forward by one second and set the scale to 100%. Select the keyframes, right click keyframe velocity and set the influence to 60% to smooth out the acceleration and deceleration. Let's take a look. Great! Next, we'll animate the Y-axis rotation. Create a keyframe, move forward by about one second and adjust the rotation slightly. Again, select the keyframes and smooth the motion. Now let's preview Awesome! Select the text layers and the null object. Right click and pre-compose them. Name the new composition and hit OK. From the project panel duplicate the layer with Ctrl D. Select the duplicated layer, press Enter and rename it. Double click to open it and modify the text. I'll move the text slightly to ensure it fits within the composition. Drag the duplicated composition into the main composition and position the text. Right click the layer, go to layer styles and apply stroke. Set the stroke color to white and increase the size to around 5. Select the stroke effect Copy it with Ctrl C, then go to the other layer and paste it with Ctrl V. And voila! Subscribe to our channel and look at our animation courses in the description.